I just don't think being unlikable is a crime, bro. This is the most hated player in Fortnite history. Bucky's rise into the mainstream largely took place in the World Cup era, back in Chapter 1, where Bucky posted a wholesome video of his dad helping and coaching him to qualify for the World Cup, which made him one of 100 players in the world, and came with a guaranteed $50,000 cash prize. He's no shield, he's no shield. Should be able to come. Let's go on I got, let's go! Let's go! Get to the top 15. Mm -hmm. that, that gives you what? An extra, what, two points? That puts us at 59 points. Okay? Just once you get to the top 15. Then, you can just, like, take the question mark out of it. Like, play for play something. You don't have to heal. Okay? Get that motherfucker. Damn. Oh, he got a trap on him. Dude, how do you That's get right. that trap? That's all right, man. I saw that. Yeah. Dude, you remember when you were sitting there saying 59 points, 61 points? Yeah, and well... I, what'd your coach say? I said, no, we need 63. Well, I guess you were right. 63 got, us, got you there. Good job, buddy. I'm proud of you. Be a humble, faithful fan. Shortly after the World Cup, Fortnite Chapter 2 released, which came with a new map and a location called Slurpee Swamps, which is where Bucky would land. He decided to team up with another pro player and friend of his named Creo, who he would play FNCS with, which is where Bucky's image would significantly change from the World Cup days, as he was accused of colluding with another team in FNCS by trading Storm Surge, which is a mechanic in Fortnite used to thin out the population of the game as it progresses. When people in the community started to call out Bucky, Creo, and the team that they colluded with, they tried to defend themselves, but it rubbed the community in the wrong way, and they got even more backlash for it. Oh, it's 60 days, man. It's not your life. You okay, but I'm not no, signed, man. I'm not signed. I'm not gonna go play. I'm not gonna go play pubs with. I'm not gonna go play pubs with LG Kiwis, man. Like. <laughs> Yeah. But nothing was proved, there's no investigation, there's... Slacks moved to Virginia with his whole family for Fortnite. That's what I'm saying, what? bro. Oh, like, no. people change... That's what I'm saying, bro. People change their whole life for this game, and they just hand out bans like that, bro. Like, they just ruined my whole yeah, life, bro. Gonna... Following the ban he received, Bucky began to focus on streaming on Twitch, gaining a significant audience throughout the following seasons of Fortnite, while also returning to competitive Fortnite and returning straight to the top with a podium finish in Chapter 2 Season 5 FNCS Finals. Let's go, baby! Let's fucking go! Let's go! His streams continued to grow and he became extremely popular for his funny moments and personality. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Is this guy real? Mikey going for the build fight. Bucky FPS with the counter build fight. And... Sheesh! Why be done? Why be done? Sheesh! Mr. Savage trying to W kick me. Chat, what do I do to him? Oh my god! Oh my god! I got a flopper! Oh my god! I literally cannot. How? Bucky would take a break from streaming and would join NRG, the top Fortnite org at the time. Later on, he would return to Twitch in Fortnite Chapter 3, continuing to make people laugh and to lighten his past controversies. This is the trade surgeon slurping. Listen, bro, I don't know how to tell you guys this, but that I did not cheat, bro. That was like. That was a smart strategy, bro, and it wasn't for money, bro. I was trying to win, bro. Bucky could not stay out of controversy for long, as he would be dropped from NRG. People speculated many reasons, but it's safe to say that Bucky said what he wanted to, and that made him a brand risk. But it is the same characteristic that made so many like him.
one day later. Fortunately, this morning I get a uh, got a call from my manager, and uh, I get released from my contract. I'm broke. They didn't believe in me anymore, chap. I don't know where I'm gonna go, but I can promise you guys it's not gonna be phased. Following his departure from NRG, Bucky continued to stream and build his community, and build some rivals like Somerset and Buga that caused many to dislike him. Going into Chapter 4, a global FNCS LAN event was announced to take place in Copenhagen, and Bucky teamed up with a fellow pro player named Okus, and they began to win countless events throughout Chapter 4. They wrote their own script and let the qualification for Copenhagen come down to the wire, but they got the job done, creating one of the most iconic Fortnite performances and moments of all time. I gotta admit, guys. Kill, it's a kill. Sorry. Oh god, up, 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 up! Dead, dead, dead! I'm sorry. Nice! No, I didn't wait! What the fuck is this? No! What the fuck? Once they made it to Copenhagen, Bucky had been banned from the event by the company running it called Blast. Bucky was DQ'd and sent back home right away, leaving his teammate Okus, causing him to need to play by himself. Blast never told Bucky why he was banned, but it caused many to turn against him, and he had just basically wasted his teammate's opportunity at this million dollar event. Following this, Bucky continued to stream, and has regained support and retained his core audience through all of the many controversies.